out. Now, let's move into our entertainment section. And we have with us Mr. Greg DeKalb. How are you? Oh, my gosh. I'm <laughs> Are you Phenomenal. tan? How are you? What's going on? Is that a new look? I yeah. love the the fade. What did we get here? <laughs> the yeah, fade. You know what? I like guess. on the sides, right? It's kind of like that cool. <laughs> Everybody's trying to like match your hairstyle. Oh my god! Well, well, I don't have a fade. <laughs> well, I didn't even tell you. Ernie Sandoval sent me that email mm -hmm. with a video. Like, don't I look like Joel? I'm like, are you really seriously? People are trying to copy Joel's haircut because. No, okay. it's great. Joel's hair is my, yeah. That's I mean, what I, that's what I'm going for. It's you. different than Tony's, right? It's I mean, a come on. <laughs> that's, oh, man. That's, that's a Tony's little, in well. here. That's why I get to talk about him. I love you, Tony. <laughs> no, but but I did give a um, uh, a new guy, uh, Chris, yeah? with uh, Gentleman's Cooperative. I gave him uh, a shot today, and uh, yeah, he fixed me up. So Ooh. thank you. The Gents Co op. We love you guys. Keep doing what you're doing, doing amazing stuff. We love that Greg's here. And so now, once you've bought the property, you're living in Chicago, you've found the right neighborhood, you got to go out and eat. You got to have places that are like home to you, that give good service, that are always there. Tell us about your guests today. Yeah, absolutely. So, as you guys know, we got a whole lot of awesome events coming up, and I want to give a rundown. But most importantly, I wanted to introduce our guest tonight with Kinsey Chop House. We have an awesome event coming up um, on. February 26th, uh, Wine and Chai. It's our first Wine and Chai event. Who so, doesn't love wine? I mean, seriously. Exactly, right? So just a elegant, high-end uh, event, and we thought there isn't a better place in Chicago to kick off these networking events than at Kinsey Chop House. So brought them along to tell us a little bit about their uh, venue. Uh, thank you so much for having us. Thank, thank you again, Greg and Tony. So nice meeting you. And this is Nicole, the, the current owner for Kinsey Chop yep. House. So we just took over Kinsey Chop House in July, and we finished an awesome renovation project. So it took us two weeks, and it's completely modernized and new, and it's a local feel. It's still female-owned, and we have great food, and we host these events. And this wine in Shai is set up, you know, to be awesome in the new bar lounge area, and we can't wait to have it. Ooh, she's speaking to my heart. She <laughs> said it's female-owned, female, -owned, female I'm just going to operate, and I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know you're running things there. But can you tell us a little bit? This is a real estate show, right? So it's an investment show. And, of course, we just want to tell you where to hang out because who are these trendsetters and who is really making a change in that commercial res restaurant tour world? It's like, as I said earlier, we're going to uh, start doing the pre-shift, which we're going to be uh, interviewing the folks over at Gibson's, Gibson's Group. So you are a owned restaurant yeah. so you own it can you tell me like how often do you have to do these renovations so you can stay uh competitive with all the other restaurants so it hadn't been shown love for about you know 15 years so its time had come and so when we took over the place um we went through the process we got an sba loan my husband's been in the restaurant industry for about 25 years but we didn't want to freak out the people who were Kinsey clients for the past 30 years. So we went slowly, slowly, um, and then from about September have been planning methodically the um, renovation. So we were able to self-finance, but that's because we had to, you know, save and understand our cash flow to see what we could do. And, you know, it's the product you see once you guys come and visit and see the new modernized Kinsey. Love it. And from an investment or career or just like, I want to get into this business, how does a girl get started? Like, what's, oh. where did this idea originate from? So, I know. We want to take you back. I want to go on a journey to know more okay. about you. I have an MBA in finance. I'm from finance world, but I have a salon on Oak Street, so I'm art world. And my husband is uh, had restaurants for 25 years overseas. So this opportunity fell in our lap. And it's just been a wild, crazy ride because restaurant world is not normal world. But you're like, paint this color. Yeah. I want this. I'm the beauty girl. Yeah. So we're going to make it beautiful for everybody. So that's for that. And then he's operations. So I'm accounting and marketing upstairs. And he's downstairs on operations. And it's kind of like upstairs, downstairs, and we make it work. Operations is very difficult, right? You have to know how to take care of your employees, but also how to take care of your clients. So it's that crazy balance. If you can master that art, you could yeah. be very successful in restaurants. Um, can you tell me what is the, the, the story behind your success? What is work hard? That's, you know, it, it takes a lot of sweat equity and I'll, it's preparation. And then you get lucky and make lucky, you know, have lucky breaks. You just have to be prepared for what life is going to bring to you. Um, and just a lot, a lot of hard work. 
Love it. So if you had to talk to our listeners and our the people who are watching today, like what is your one sales pitch or not even sales pitch, but that welcome to our restaurant? Like why would I go there versus any other restaurant? There's something to be said about some a restaurant that's independently operated and not through a big group. And there's very few of us left. And we really try to have that hospitality, that feeling of it's your home away from home and you can ask for whatever it is you want with us. And, you know, feel happy. You can have your private events with us. You can bring your family or you can have a business meeting. I love that. And that we do, right? As realtors, we're always hosting. We want to give somebody a gift certificate so they can come. We want to celebrate that new house, the closing of a new, a new property. Why not do it there? You have anything else to add? Yeah, I mean, like, uh, there is a lot of reason to do events with us because we do have a pretty much great room with very nice experience. One of my favorite rooms is uh, one entrance where we have a chandelier with a one engine in the wall. And are you uh, saying it's uh, you're calling out all the millennials who want to do their Insta picture? Mm -hmm. This is a great yeah, place for much, your yeah, Instagrammable <laughs> space. <laughs> Did you much. hear that, chandeliers, ladies? Yes. Yeah, so like, uh, so which is also like uh, on 26 February 26, we're gonna have events with Tony P. So we are um, uh, we're gonna create a dining experience event in that room where we're gonna have up to 20 people. So just experience just also like uh, calling the event one experience. And then uh, having all this battle, all, all the nomination we have about the wine, it's going to be great. It's going to be very, very Yeah, the great. restaurant Something has, um, from Wine Spectator, the award of excellence from about 2014 all the way through 2019, and we're going for 2022. Great stuff. So remember, chandeliers and wine on the 26th with our friends from Tony P Networks. It's a must attend because as always, it is packed with great people and you can make great connections, but also why not enjoy yourselves and, you know, try out the new, uh, check out the new decor. Yeah. And Did you want to add anything, Greg? Yeah, I was going to say um, we do have a, a few other events coming up. So just thought I'd give a quick rundown of uh, the events happening with Tony P's this month. So first off, we have February 18th, Concrete Cowboy. We have our Tony P Business Networking event. And then on February 26th, we'll be working with uh, the Kinsey Chop House here on our Wine and Chai event. And then February 20th, we all love Sonny and his foundation. They're doing the A Boy in His Dream event um, at Roche Bobois. Uh, Roche Bobois. Uh, <laughs> help me out Roche here. Yeah. Roche Bobois. I wish Jesse was here to say it because she says it the best. But Actually, I say it better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, say it. I speak French. Can so. you please I help us? Much. So there we go. I mean, you just, just keep talking. Like, just translate everything in French. <laughs> <laughs> he speaks like six languages. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, See? So. Yeah. All right, so we're going to encourage the ladies of Exception, Exceptional Women's Network and Fem City. Ladies, come out and support a female-owned business. Yeah. And you heard her. It's a husband and wife project, but you have to come out and support our very own. So... Female owned and female, not operated, but she's got a great team. We have to support our women who are launching in these businesses because it's very competitive. So kudos Thank to you. you and much, much luck. Thank you, my dear. Thank you. You're welcome.